These are the images I create every day with AI. AIs that are now known as text-to-image, such as Leonardo, Runway, Freepik, Fodor, Firefly. Do you also create many images with these AIs every day, like me? I do this every day, but even so, every time I look at these images I feel like something is missing. Whenever I look at AI images, I think they need to come to life. Do you also want the images you create to come alive? Do you also like to see your images in motion like me? Before anything else, I'm really curious to know which text-to-image AI you use. Be sure to tell me in the comments with which AI you generate your images. And be sure that in the next videos I will explain the secrets of their cool prompts to you so that you can upgrade your images and make them more professional. So comment on the name of that AI right now. Look more carefully from here. These are videos that I made with AI. These videos are actually images that have come alive and entered life. These are images that have been converted to video with the help of AI. I test and work with different image to video AIs every day. Many AIs like Pika, Moon Valley, Genmo, Playday, or Runway have the ability to convert images to videos. But only a few of them give you the ability and the cool option to specifically animate a specific part of an image you want. Yes, this special feature does not exist in every AI. Stay with me until the end of this tutorial so that I can teach you this exceptional feature from a specific AI for animating the desired parts of any image. It is also worth mentioning that it does not matter what genre your image is in. With this method you can easily and quickly animate any part of any type of image and convert it to video. First, we visit the Runway website. After creating an account, we log in. Runway provides various AI tools and their thumbnails are listed on the dashboard. To animate images, we use the Gen 2 tool. By clicking on the Upload a File link, we can upload an image to the Gen 2 tool that we want to animate. I click on the link, select an image from the hard drive, and upload it. After uploading, a thumbnail of the image is displayed. There are two solutions named Camera Motion and Motion Brush for animating images. The Camera Motion tool controls camera movements, while the Motion Brush is a masking tool that allows us to specify which parts of the image should be animated. Let's start by examining Camera Motion. The horizontal parameter creates a horizontal camera movement. The vertical parameter creates a vertical camera movement. The pan parameter generates cinematic movement along the x-axis. The tilt parameter creates cinematic movement along the y-axis. With the roll parameter, we can create rotational movement clockwise or counterclockwise. The zoom parameter allows us to control the camera's movement along the z-axis. Increasing the zoom parameter simulates the camera moving away from the scene. I click on the save button. Now I click on the generate 4s button. After a short period, a video is generated based on the image and camera movement. Now, I play the video. With the Extend 4S button, we can increase the video duration by another 4 seconds. The Download Video button is located in the top right section of the video frame. At this stage, we explore animating specific and desired sections of an image. For this purpose, I click on the Gen 2 tool on the Runway dashboard. By clicking on the Upload a File link, a window opens, and I choose a new image to upload. After uploading, a thumbnail of the image is displayed. Now, I click on the Motion Brush option. In the new window, I can click anywhere on the image where I want to apply animation. Now, we have a brush at our disposal, and we can adjust its size as needed. With this brush, any area we select on the image will become animated. After selecting a region in the image, options for controlling the motion of that section are displayed. Using the horizontal parameter, we can set or determine whether the motion of the mass section should be towards the left or right along the x-axis. With the vertical parameter, we can set or determine whether the motion of the mass section should be upwards or downwards along the y-axis. The proximity parameter allows us to set or determine whether the motion of the mass section towards the camera should be deeper along the z-axis. For the selected sections in this image, I set a subtle and smooth movement towards the right along the x-axis. I save the settings. Now I click on the Generate 4S button. After a short period, a video is generated based on my settings. I play the video.
And as you can see, only specific parts of the image that I selected have been animated. The download button is located in the top right section of the video frame. This feature of the Runway AI's Gen 2 tool is truly unique, and I haven't seen it in other competitors. Gen 2 improves over time and becomes more powerful. The future of video production and even cinema is in the hands of this example of AI. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider supporting the channel by using the super thanks button below each video to make a donation. Your donation, no matter how small, fuels the energy for creating future tutorials. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'll see you in the next video.